I'm proud to work in plastics because I know I'm making a difference every single day. It impacts everything basically that happens in the world today. The plastics industry is constantly growing, constantly advancing. The job opportunities are pretty much endless. There aren't enough skilled workers coming out of colleges and universities to fill the needs of industry. We have basically a 100% placement rating for the graduates from our program. These companies that they're working for are anywhere from a small local family owned company to large multi-billion dollar corporations. Mitsubishi Chemical Advanced Materials in Reading, Pennsylvania is the North American headquarters. It's a global company. Mitsubishi is a stock shapes manufacturer, so we make rods, plates, and tubes. We're not really like the end producer of the parts. We'll send them off to our customers and they'll be cut and machined into whatever the actual product is. A lot of our materials are advanced engineered plastics, so they have a higher integrity of withstanding higher heats, higher pressures. A lot of the industries that our parts go into heavy equipment, oil and gas. From semiconductor with the electronics, to aerospace, to medical, pharmaceuticals. They get made into some pretty cool end use applications. The first thing everybody thinks of when they hear the word plastic is water bottles, plastic bags, or straws. We, as a society, can do better about using those types of products. But what I want people to understand is that polymers are so much more than that. They go into those life-saving medical devices, life-altering electronics. They allow us to move, travel, and transport, and explore our world and our universe in a way that we couldn't before we discovered the use of polymer materials. What's this? In a career in plastics, you can either go from an operations and manufacturing world, you know, working with the equipment and the material, to sales, to technical service, to research and development. There are so many different facets to the industry that people really have no idea about, kind of like what we do. As a process engineer, it's essentially putting out the best product possible in the most efficient way. So a lot of that involves data analysis, doing experiments. Every day is different. It's constantly improving processes, working with new people and new materials every single day. Responsible for process improvement on the manufacturing floor, get into a bit of project management as well. So just making sure that we make the best quality product as efficiently as possible. We're one of only six ABET accredited plastics technology programs in the United States. Industry wants us to graduate more students than we actually have. I knew that I was going to have a job walking right out of college and I knew I was going to be prepared for that job. Going into my junior year of college, I had a full-time offer at Mitsubishi already. Our dedication to hands-on uh, lab-style learning for our degree uh, is higher than you'll find at any of the other accredited universities. I loved you know, being hands-on with the equipment. So you get to learn the theory and then you get to prove it out on the equipment. Like Monday morning, you'll be sitting in your theory class for an hour and then you go to your lab and you're actually putting that into practice. And in those labs, you'll be working with industrial-sized equipment. We do this because we want to build the strongest and broadest foundation for our students so that when it comes time to graduate and find your job, you have more options. I'm very grateful because it, it opened my eyes to a whole new world of an industry that I knew absolutely nothing about. I'm very grateful for my Penn College education. Coming out into industry and working at Mitsubishi, I understood what's happening inside the equipment, not just that, you know, turning a knob, it makes it go faster, but learning at the molecular weight level what's happening to the plastics. I'm most grateful for the hands-on experience I got. That is just such a huge part of being successful in a manufacturing environment like this. I would say Penn College kind of lit the fire, you know, lit that little ember, and then coming here, it created an inferno, yeah. 
I would highly, highly recommend Penn College Plastics.